Hi, Nathan here again with another True Tech troubleshooting tutorial. Today we're going to make our first excursion into Microsoft Excel and hope to be many more of these videos in the future. Today I want to introduce a problem that I had with a client and give you a, a quick fix on how to, how to do something. So I have a sample spreadsheet here of data I extracted out of the Northwind database and of course every copy of Microsoft Office has Northwind database in it and this is just a company customer table uh, from that database and there's uh, about 30 rows and what I want to do today and what my client wanted me to do was figure out a way to pull a random sample from a list of data like this so uh, they requested 10 random customers from a list of 30 customers and so what to do well first of all we're gonna have to add some data to get the randomization to work and then we're going to use a separate sheet to pull the 10 rows that we want. So first first thing we'll do is we'll add the extra data at the end of the of the table. So in here in column K, we're going to type a new header and we'll just call it random and we'll just do the format painter to bring over the formatting so it looks nice. We'll move our text box over and then in here we're going to choose a function the randomization function and in order to do that we just click on the f of x function button type in random it'll search for it and this function right here rend is the function we want and we don't need any arguments and we get a random number and of course a computer cannot officially give anybody a random number because it's a computer it's not a living being so the computer uses an algorithm that that takes snapshots of the system clock which run in gigahertz that means billions of decisions a second it takes different snapshots at different intervals in the in the system clock and generates a number from that so it's the closest thing a computer can do to getting a random number and so now we have this randomized number we can now sort this data ascending or descending and just take the top or the bottom or the middle or any any place we want of the data and that would be a randomization of the data so if you want to observe if we uh, click on our table data right here in the middle we go to data sort and we choose column K as our sorting and we'll go largest to smallest just for example hit OK and so we've sorted our data and now the first 10 rows are randomized there's no specific order at all to the data now. Um, of course, if we wanted to undo the randomization and organize by company name, we could go back into sort, change this to company, go A to Z, and that would be back. So that's the way you randomize. Now how to get 10 items to another sheet. Well, we're going to go to sheet 2, and we're going to bring over our column headers by doing an equal sign, going back to sheet 1, clicking on that, and then hitting return. We're going to, in order to carry this formula, sheet 1, A1, over to the next rows, we're going to just grab the little square handle down there, click and pull, and that gets us, we'll take out the random number this time. That gets us all of our column headers. And now we want to choose in this case the top 10 items in our randomization and so we're going to do the same thing we're going to say here equals go to sheet 1 grab cell A2 hit return and we're going to carry that data over to zip and then grab it again and click it down to row 11 that would give us 10 items okay but this still has not been randomized because we resorted the data. So we want to go back to our first sheet and sort the data by the random column and we'll say largest to smallest. And then if we go back now to sheet 2 we see a complete randomization of the data. So I hope this small tutorial helps you in a business application where you need to sample your data. This could work on a huge scale as many rows as you can fit in Excel and as big a sample as you need using this method. Keep your questions coming. Uh, thank you for those who have subscribed to the YouTube channel 
And remember that IT problems are always simple, but they're never easy. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.